Hey guys, my name is Obi, and I'm with the Orifal build team. On today's episode, we are going to be working on the interior of the right side here. Um, now, if you've never heard of Orifal, Orifal is the latest upcoming MMORPG for Minecraft on Xbox One. Let's go ahead and get started here. So today, actually, I'm sorry, we're going to be working on the left tower. Uh, so in today's episode, we're actually going to be working on the basement area down here. Now I need to go through and I need to texture all of the floors. Uh, that should be the first thing I do um, before we even start working on the rooms. But I'll kind of give you guys the rundown. We'll start up here at the top uh, area up here and we'll work our way down so I can kind of show you. This area up here is primarily just going to be a storehouse. Nothing too fancy. I'm going to kind of cramp it off, make it closed in. Um, there is going to be a ladder that leads up to the uh Part, top part of the the tower here so you guys can actually see outside so you guys can actually come up here and get a good view of the area and then I may add a um, like a catapult or something up here I think that would be a good idea just to have some kind of a weapon here um, now heading back down um, like I said this is just gonna be just a storehouse like I said I, I'm gonna cut most of it off um, it's gonna be very very cramped now heading down into the main floor here this is gonna be like a shop um, so we're gonna need items for sale, we're gonna need storage, we're gonna need a sales counter. Um, I'm not sure if the shopkeeper, I'm probably gonna build him maybe a little room right here. Um, maybe he kind of sleeps in here whenever he's shut down for the night. Um, this is kind of like a barracks and you know, everything else. So maybe he runs a 24 hour shop. If somebody comes in, he'll, he'll hop up and sell them something, I'm not sure. Um, and then down at the bottom, I wanted to do a physician's office. So we're going to have this kind of physician area down here. So we're going to have to have beds. We're going to have to have a surgery area. We're going to have an area for brewing. Um, we're going to have an area for, you know, bookshelves for his, you know, various um, different tomes and medicines. And then I'm probably going to open up um, maybe an area for natural light in here. And then I'm thinking about adding in an area where he would have kept... Uh, kind of his own like herb garden down here um, maybe I might do it on a little balcony or I may have just natural light coming in um, so that way he can you know make kind of grow his own medicinal herbs here in store and then he'll probably have an area where he kind of studies different objects and different things so uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna retexture the floors and then once we get the floors done um, I'm probably just gonna skip through and we'll start working on the ceiling down here um, and I'll kind of show you guys what that looks like all right guys so I've got the bottom layer here pretty much textured up as far as the roof goes I mean there's a few little bits and bobs here that we need to fix up um, the walls aren't quite done yet um, just kind of getting those done I'll actually do those as I go along it'll kind of be easier with this one um, I've kind of made this a little bit more cramped um, now this is the physician's office here and I'll kind of show you guys around so um, over here we'll have your primary beds just for care stuff like that back in this area is going to be the surgery room so if they're performing surgery I'm um, having to amputate a body part that'll kind of be in this area here now back in here um, this will be his primary quarters his own personal quarters um, so you'll have um, he'll have his own bed back in here um, I, I kind of created a little balcony right here I um, just thought it was kind of nifty it's kind of just kind of hanging out and chilling right there um, and then right here we'll probably have um, a couple of tables a bunch of flower pots for um, his own personal um, little herb garden that he would have um, and then over in this area probably have some storage maybe a writing desk something of that sorts um, and then of course he's gonna have kind of just a bunch of books just scattered about in here um, as a physician he's gonna need to read a lot um, we'll probably have some books in here as well um, just for him to be able to grab some stuff we're gonna have a brewing area we may do like a little brewing stand kind of area right in here uh, something small there or we may do it back in in this area uh, maybe he kind of brews stuff in the surgical area whenever he's not performing surgery. So uh, maybe maybe this can be a two piece room. It could be a surgery area and a um, kind of a, a brewing area all in one. I'm not sure, but we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, I'm going to kind of jump through this. Uh, we'll get the walls textured up and then we'll also go ahead and place um, all of the furniture and, you know, different knickknacks and whatnot to kind of get this thing rolling along. So well, you guys will see that here in just a moment. All right, guys. So I've got the physician's office finished down in the basement. Uh, we're going to kind of head down there now and check that out. So um, and I went ahead and added this in. So as soon as you walk in for, uh, into the kind of storeroom here or the, the shop, uh, there's a little table here with a light and then kind of going down into the the basement here area I've got another one sitting there just to add some light in but coming down here. We have the physician's office 
uh, just kind of show you guys this here. So we've got a brewing stand here. We've got a little furnace to kind of keep this area warm. We've got another brewing stand over this way. Uh, lots of just decoratives. We've got, you know, some pots and stuff, some gloves sitting there for him to be able to work on stuff. Um, a couple of pots here um, that would be to be able to hold, like, you know, medicinal herbs or whatever. Um, we've got a wash bucket, um, punched some holes out, added some greenery in here um, just to kind of show that this place is kind of falling apart. Now he has bookshelves and just different um, cabinets and stuff kind of all over the place here. We've got some chests here. We've got one hidden down there, um, different paperwork. Uh, maybe that is like medical reports or, you know, different cures. Um, we've got the beds down here, got some old broken up looking carpet. Um, now back in this uh, area back here, I thought this was kind of neat. Um, I didn't have any kind of curtains, but I wanted to segregate the um, actual surgical room from the uh, main kind of um, sick area here. Um, so I went ahead and hung these up and I thought they kind of acted like a nifty little curtain and I used them back in the uh, physician's room as well. Now if we head back inside of here, I'll kind of show you guys this here. This is the surgical room. Um, so this is basically where he would perform surgery. He's got his brewing stand, another furnace here, um, some books and stuff up there. He's got another little wash bucket now. Um, in case you guys didn't know back in the day, they actually didn't wash their hands while uh, working on uh, patients. They only washed their hands to remove blood and dirt and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Um, germs and a disease wasn't a thing that they thought about as um, a medical kind of thing. They thought it more of um, in the sense of um, what's the word I'm looking for here. Uh, they thought about it in more of kind of like a witchcraft or, or, you know, demonic stuff like that. So kind of more of like a biblical sense, if it makes any kind of, if it makes any kind of sense to you guys, but we've got some more stuff up here. Um, now he's got some skulls kind of laying about, of course, he's going to be studying the human anatomy. So, um, definitely going to have that. We've got some blood droplets on the ground there. Now I didn't put any carpet in here in the surgical area. I just didn't think it was necessary. Of course, he's not going to have carpet where the, uh, people are performing surgery. Now back in this area, it's going to be his own personal room. Um, so we've got another skull here, a little, little furnace to kind of keep him warm. Uh, books galore. He's got his own little personal library here. Um, Back in here, he's got a writing desk. Maybe he's trying to figure out, you know, how to cure somebody. So he's writing down notes, writing down things, you know, for medicinal purposes, different, you know, um, cures and, and different things that he could be mixing together. He's got his own little bed back in here. Um, now out here, I did go ahead and I hung up. Let me get rid of this one. Actually, I was kind of getting rid of these here, uh, but I hung up some more curtains here. Um, and then back outside here is where he would have kept his own uh, personal like um, storehouse for herbs and stuff. He would be growing his own herbs here uh, for med medicinal purposes. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Added the ladder in so he can kind of climb up and get his books and stuff. Um, but this is pretty much going to wrap up this part. I'm actually going to try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter for the interiors. I'm hoping only, you know, five to ten minutes long. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. The next episode we're going to be working on is going to be the actual store, the shop here. Um, and then once we get that done, we'll head up here. Um, I may just knock this out as well. I'm not sure yet. This is just going to be a storehouse. So basically, it's just going to be like a warehouse up here. Um, and then I'll go up here and I'll build the uh, catapult up there. So we're going to kind of keep this rolling along, guys. Until next time, this is Obi signing out.